Right, so we're here now in the heart of St Nicholas's Quarter in this beautiful new civic space and I'm talking to Senator John McGahan. Uh, John, tell us, what, where are you on this fabulous work that's happened so far? Yeah, so essentially um, urban regeneration funding is funding that's supplied by the government uh, to totally revolutionise uh, and to change around parts of towns that have been kind of forgotten about. And I really believe that the Bridge Street and Lynn Hall Street area is a part of the dog town that for various reasons has been neglected and forgotten about over the last 20 to 30 years. So if you can imagine it, the uh, concept of huge funding coming in to totally redesign the streetscape, make it more accessible for pedestrians, more accessible for people with disabilities, to have people, residential units, back up against, uh, back again above the shop front, having people back living in this area, yes. uh, to when you look down there and you see vacant shops, to have that totally transformed into few retail units, we're actually able to give young entrepreneurs the first start. Uh, I'm telling you now, this has the real potential to totally redefine what we know as the North End of the North Tower. Uh, it is substantial government funding that we're going to need. And it's not just this time around. This is going to be one application that we're going to have to get in, and then we're going to have to put in another application next year. This is going to have to be sustainable funding in the millions of euros that we are going to have to attract to British and University over the next three to four years. And then also, John, that funding will reap dividends because there's going to be so much more available retail space, small manageable footprint size space, but also town living homes above as you build the shop, and also more adventurous and more ambitious housing developments in this area. Yeah, absolutely. Right. And the one thing I've, uh, I have to say about Bridge Street Lynn Hall and this general part of town, it is the one part of the north that has the greatest sense of community. Like, it really, really does. Uh, and by creating more residential units above shop fronts, we're given an opportunity for people from this end of town to continue on living in this end of town. Um, and with people living above shop fronts, it creates more footfall, and uh, more footfall creates more business, uh, and more business creates new business and stuff. And, you know, I suppose for one better term, a rising tide lifts all boats. Uh, and that's the real opportunity here. And I think you probably agree, we've had a taste of it now with the work that's already been done, and it has been a great job, and we have this wonderful space that once we're through the restrictions and into next year, we'll be able to use these new spaces a lot more. Um, but we've had a taste of, we've already seen in, in the last couple of months how people have enjoyed coming here and are coming here more than usual to this area to do their shopping. And so the potential is huge. Yeah, massively. And like I said, it's going to be a project that we're really going to have to embark on over the next three to four years. This isn't just a case of, oh, we're going to get money to redo the footpaths. Like, that's, 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 that's no ambition, just redoing footpaths. The ambition for this from Lyles County Council is absolutely huge. We're going to revolutionise the whole area, transform it so that in a couple of years you won't even be able to recognise it. It's going to be so good for business, it's going to be so good for residents, and it's really going to put a, a stamp that like this can be a flagship project, not only for the door, but for the department to be able to show around to other towns. You have to do it like Bridge Street and then the whole street of the door. This is the way to do it, this is the format, this is the blueprint. Uh, I'm really excited for it, but I, I'm very focused on my own role as a senator. And now because I have the platform as a government senator yeah. to be able to lobby the minister, to be able to lobby the government to say this part of the world is a forgotten part of our town, it needs funding and it needs it now and this is only the start. This is only the absolute start of this really ambitious programme uh, to change the north end of town to something that's going to be totally unrecognised. Forever. Yeah, it's Forever. Really brilliant. Like and this really is the gateway. Like, this is the gateway to the door. Yeah, exactly. Right. Such so, an important part of town. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but like to reiterate, like it's going to be really good for business. It's going to be really good for what you call the Northern Gateway entrance into the door. Like, you know, I think at times people forget that you used to come off the motorway at Black Rock and the Dove South and all that. Like, this is our traditional town entrance for the history of the Dove Town. You know, yeah. from time immemorial, yeah. this was the main thoroughfare coming into the Dove. Uh, and we need to replicate that and, and make it something that everyone can be just so proud of uh, and get behind. Brilliant. Thanks a million, John, yeah, for all your support for the area. Mm -hmm.